Installing a seat in the old fishing boat doesn't take very long and it can be done in a cost efficient way. In this case what we're doing is adding a one inch spacer under the seat to keep it from scraping the bench in the old aluminum boat. Uh, what's important here is the lag bolts have to be wider in diameter than the wood screws that we used the first time. Now we're using lag bolts for the two securing holes in the middle of the bench because we can't get underneath to secure them using the lock washer and a nut. The spacer can be made from any extra wood you have laying around. The piece we used in this situation is just a temporary fix. Ideally, it is best to use exterior grade wood if you have the time to get it ready. Okay, so let's take a look at what you need. Your standard boat seat, boat seat swivel plate, your spacer board, we used one inch, you can use a larger, two lag bolts and washers, 1.75 inches is what we used for the length. You might need one that's longer than that if you're going to use a bigger spacer. Two machine bolts with nuts and washers. They have to match your lag bolts in size. A cordless drill to make your pilot and clearance holes. A wrench or socket set. And a screwdriver. It's important to place the swivel plate at the edge of the bench so that you can actually get the seat installed properly. The swivel plate has to overhang so the bolts can go into the bottom of the seat. For a new installation, the tricky part is making sure your pre-drilled holes line up well with the spacer and the swivel plate. Here's a look at the machine bolt assembly that we're using to attach the front part of the swivel plate and the spacer to the bench. Okay, so what we want to do is install the lag bolts at the part of the swivel plate that's at the back. Again, we're using the lag bolts because they have to grab the wood. We can't get underneath to secure them. After the back ones are finished, we're going to install the bolts at the front. One thing to remember when we're installing the machine bolts is we want to put the regular washer on top and the lock washer underneath and then the nut up against the lock washer. Here's a quick look at the lock washer as well as the whole assembly once it's put together. Once that's done, we tighten everything up to make sure it's good and secure. Then we're all set to install the seat. We want to take a quick look underneath just to make sure everything's clean, there's no spiders or dirt in the holes. Then put the seat down, line it up on the swivel plate, and get ready to finish the job. Here's a quick look at how things should line up underneath the seat. Uh, also we can take a look and see how the final installation worked out for the swivel plate, the spacer, and the machine bolts going into the bench. At this point all we have to do is put on the finishing touches, make sure we install the remaining three bolts into the bottom of the seat and after that we're pretty much good to go. That's it, the boat seat's installed and we still have time to get out on the water and catch some fish.